this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Anya. I am an actress and a singer. I think you've already mentioned my accent. That's because I'm from Ukraine and I came to Lancaster I think eight months ago and back in Ukraine I worked in an art studio and I had over 60 students and today I want to share some experience with you. We are specifically going to work on our imagination. And before we start, a little note that Please, don't be afraid to be wrong, don't be afraid to be funny, silly, anything like that. Don't try to make ordinary things, because the only thing you can do best in this world is to be you. So, if you want to really improve your imagination, you have to let everything go and just enjoy. <laughs> in this masterclass I'm also going to be doing all exercises with you so please make sure you have everything what I listed here with you you can pause the video and when you're ready let's start so for this first exercise you'll need any device that you can play music on piece of paper and bunch of colorful markers pencils anything that you have colorful here is what we're going to do so i'm gonna play some music for two minutes and in this two minutes you should you know try to feel what this music is about feel the story of this music and try to put that on a piece of paper remember it can be anything you want it to be and let's start Remember, you only have two minutes. Ah. All right, time is up. I'm gonna show you what I've got. <laughs> As you can tell, I can't really draw, but this masterclass is not about how beautiful you can draw. So for me, when I listened to this music, I for some reason thought about autumn and spring. Usually when you have more time, you can even create stories. Here I have a simple idea, I like it, and if you have more time for this exercise, you can also listen to the music and create even a poem or a whole fairy tale. It's up to you. And let's move to another exercise. So for this one, you need a black marker or black pen and again, colorful markers. We are going to close our eyes. Well, first put the marker on a paper and then for 15 seconds, 
we are going to draw a line without stopping it's a continuous line for 15 seconds just go back and forth right left up and down you're just drawing a line and now look at this and try to see something um, like an object or a person or maybe it's an alien or a flower just try to make this connection so honestly what i see here a motorcycle and a person driving it this one is actually reminding me of one art piece I'll try to find it or on the internet, I don't remember the name, but it's a really cool one. So then you're just going to grab colorful pencils and paint it. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. Now I hope you also see this motorcycle. Anyway, this is a really great exercise. You can make it as a game with your friends and Let's go to the next one. So for this one, you're only going to need one black marker or any pen. We are going also to close our eyes and you're going to paint a face of woman or a man, it's up to you, with one line, one continuous line. I'm personally drawing the man's head. I hope <laughs> it's gonna be nice um, I'm trying to make a curly hair <gasps> all right I accidentally stopped so if I want to make another one I have to go again uh, <laughs> honestly this one looks like a Santa Claus <laughs> just look at it <laughs> so now do the opposite so I draw a man first so now I'm gonna draw a woman don't forget it's a continuous line you can't stop if you stop you have to start again I want her to have straight hair you know I hope you're doing this with me guys the last line and I'm done <laughs> it looks like she has a beard look at her <laughs> See, it's not only about developing your imagination, it's also about just having fun. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Here's another game, I just made it, guys. So for this one, you're going to need a yarn, any kind. Honestly, the thinner, the better, but I just moved to a new place, so that's the only one I have. A container, some water in there and different um, paints and a small lid and also you need any kind of brush so i'm gonna use yellow green and this terracotta you don't have to follow any proportions just you know put it there so i'm taking some water i'm just putting my yarn here and the brush on top and just pull it out couple of times I go a little bit further more water and I put it on another color this one terracotta and just like that more color don't be afraid to put more water it has to be like you know liquidy and some green painting same technique I'm taking a piece of paper and you can either fold it if you have a big one but I have small ones here so I'm taking two I put the yarn in, in an interesting way, you know, any way you want, and cover. And now just pull it out and see what happens. It's a tulip! Look! Oh my god, I love tulips! See, that was my association right away. Try to find yours uh, to your painting and my painting as well. I love tulips and I have a lot of them back in Ukraine on my garden. I want to make another one. I need to make another one. Also, this time I'm just going to fold my paper. I'm not going to put another one on top. Mm. And three, 
two, one. Whee! I hope you guys doing this with me. <laughs> oh, is it a dragon? Oh, it's a dragon, guys. <gasps> he even has eyes. This is incredible. Thank you so much for attention. I hope you did all of this exercises with me. I hope you enjoyed it and you're going to try out that with your friends because believe me, it's so much fun when you have somebody with you and you can compare your paintings. And I hope you just really had fun and you feel like you expressed yourself and improved your imagination. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and I hope to see you in a part two.